Since the human race began to profit from nature, our main focus has been money in exchange for lives. We have killed 90% of all sharks and big fish in the oceans. We kill close to 100 million sharks a year to support the shark fin soup trade and trades for medicine and shark meat. We rarely think about the future, but the right now, killing for profit and leaving a changed world for the next generation. In 2010, a group of researchers concluded that a third of all sharks and rays now face a threat of extinction. Despite this, less than 1% of the ocean is protected. This is Tahiti, an island of French Polynesia. It was one of the last places on Earth to be settled by humans. It is home to small sharks, big sharks, even flat sharks. And on December 6, 2012, French Polynesia declared a shark sanctuary of 1.5 million square miles of sea, making it the largest shark sanctuary in the world. And the effect of this can be seen with your own eyes. The shark sanctuary movement happened for the first time in 2009, when Palau declared the world's first shark sanctuary on September 25th. Palau forbid all commercial shark fishing within its waters, that's 600,000 square kilometres of ocean. Shark sanctuaries are exactly what they sound like, a safe haven for these animals, protected from commercial and recreational fishing, a full zone of ocean for them to thrive without harm from the human race. Palau started a movement that could very well secure the future of sharks, and in turn, our oceans. These protection methods are not just good for sharks, but also economy. In Palau, diver tourism contributes almost 40% of the country's income, and 21% of divers choose their vacation there, specifically to see the sharks. Researchers concluded that each shark in Palau had a lifetime value of $1.9 million. Another study conducted in the Maldives found sharks to be worth $33,500 each to the government of that country. The Bahamas calls itself the shark diving capital of the world. A study found the sharks and rays contributed $114 million US dollars to the Bahamas economy in 2014 alone, with 99% of this value generated by the shark and ray tourism. 630,000 square kilometers of their country's waters is now a shark sanctuary. Shark sanctuaries are the way of the future. Places where we see the sharks the way they were hundreds of years ago, where the impact of their protection is real and visible. The fish life thrives in the presence of apex predators. And if we have any hope to restore the oceans, we start with the one at the top of the food chain. In some parts of the world, no matter how small, if regulated and patrolled properly, we have the potential to stop our damage and turn back the clock and see the oceans as they once were.